So as we prepare for ribs, I'd like you to refer to your iPad for the positioning and the images of the unilateral ribs. However, today I have selected this image for you guys to review. It has a very good uh, numbering of the ribs, uh, both the anterior and the posterior ribs. This would be a really good image for you guys to practice counting ribs. As far as the projection today, I will be talking about an AP projection of the ribs. Do note that you can also perform ribs in a PA projection. Typically the AP projection is, is best for looking at the posterior ribs, placing them closest to the IR, and inversely the PA projection of the ribs is best for demonstrating the AP ribs. So today we're talking about the AP projection of the ribs. Typically for this you'd like to use a 14 by 17 cassette. You would place the cassette portrait having the IR approximately one and a half inches above the upper border of the relaxed shoulders. For positioning of the patient, you should just rest the hands and palms outward against the hips. You should slightly rotate the shoulders forward to kind of draw the scapula away from the rib cage. Be sure to shield the gonads. And for the respiration phase of the upper portion of the ribs, you always want to do second inspiration. And inspiration is the key because it will drop the diaphragm as low as possible. Then, typically, uh, x-ray of the ribs below the diaphragm is also performed on the side that is affected. For this, you typically will use a 10 by 12 cassette, and you'll place this landscape. Never have the inferior border of the cassette any lower than the iliac crest, because the ribs will never go that far. So that's a really good um, indicator of your centering. You will want to shield the gonads for the lower diaphragm as well as uh, instruct the patient to expire their breath and you will want to get a second expiration. This will help elevate the diaphragm as high as possible. So this is kind of like taking a, a rib x-ray with the lungs and then the second image is going to be kind of like an abdominal. So the techniques are going to change dramatically for the upper and lower diaphragm pictures of the ribs. The AP projection, typically uh, above the ribs, you should see the first through tenth posterior ribs from both sides. For the ribs below the diaphragm, the eighth through twelfth ribs should be best demonstrated. Be sure that there are ribs visible through the lungs and the abdomen. Uh, one other thing that I would like to talk about before I close shop here with the AP projection is just kind of informative about the matter of um, the rib fractures can typically cause a great deal of pain or hemorrhage because they're closely related to the neurovascular structures. Uh, therefore, usually a deeper inspiration is going to be difficult for patients to, to breathe as required to get a good radiograph. So sometimes just informing the patient the importance of getting good deep inspirations and good deep expirations will be really helpful in acquiring a very good image.